Hey guys, today we're going to talk about three things that I think you're going to find very, very useful. One, how you can add people's email addresses to a list so that they'll never be filtered again. Two, how you can add people's email addresses to a list so that you'll never hear from them again. And three, how to make sure the junk mail setting on your email is set up properly so that you won't lose messages that get marked as junk. Have you ever wanted to add a person or a group of people to your personal email manager so that messages from them would never be blocked? Well, actually, that's quite simple. All you need to do is go to Personal Email Manager. You can either get there by visiting the web address that you see at the top of the screen, or when you get an email from Mail Security, there's a link in that message. Once the screen comes up, all you need to do is log in. Once you're in the system, the personal email manager will list all the messages that you have to take care of. But if you scroll to the side, you'll see that there's some choices that say delete selected messages, delete all junk mail, edit always allowed list, and edit always deleted list. The one we're going to talk about right now is edit always allowed list. So go ahead and click on that. When the next screen comes up, this is where you as a end user can add the names of people that you never want to have filtered or you can do groups so for instance if I had a person that I work with at a company like John Smith at apple.com I could type in their address and click the add button and now any messages that came from John Smith at apple.com would never be blocked. Now, what if it was a whole group of people? Well, you can notice right here underneath that white box, it tells you that you can simply put in the domain name and no messages from that domain would be blocked. So if you want to allow all messages from the Florida Department of Education to come through, you could type fldoe.org and click add. By doing so, anybody that has that as their email domain will automatically pass through the filter and they'll never be blocked again. Simply click OK and you're done. Well we just got done looking at how to create a list so that people that were on that list would never be filtered again. Now let's look at a way that we can put people on a list so that you'll never ever see messages from them. All you need to do is look to the side again and find the always deleted list. Once you click on that, this new page will come up. For instance, if I never wanted to receive a message from the Joker at Batman.com ever again, I could simply type his name and click add and those messages would never come to me again. They'd be automatically deleted and I'd never even know that they were sent. If you wanted to block a whole entire group of people, you could do so by typing in their domain. So for instance, if I never wanted to hear from the penguin or any of his henchmen again, I could say I want to block everybody at penguin.com and I'll add them as well. Now I will never receive a message from anyone that has that as their email domain. Please be careful when you do this because once this is put in place, you'll never receive messages from them again unless you remove them from this list. Simply click OK and you're done. OK guys, we have one last thing that we need to cover and that's junk mail settings inside of email. Sometimes you may not get a message not because it got stuck in the filter but because it was considered junk mail and you have your junk mail set to auto delete. This will often happen if a single user sends a message to an extremely large number of people. The way that you can check to make sure that you do not have this set is to log into email and then come up and click on edit and choose preferences. Once that window opens go to the messaging tab, click and then at the very bottom you'll see junk mail handling. It should be set to accept 
if you believe things are being lost that are junk mail. If it is set to delete silently, you'll never know that the message was even received by you because the system will automatically delete it. So once again, if you are missing messages and you don't know where they're going, please double check to make sure that you do not have your junk mail setting set incorrectly. You want to set it to accept if you are missing some messages. Make sure you hit apply and then you're done. Thanks. If you have an idea for a future podcast, please send it to yourcharlotteschools.com slash Thank you.